Rolling Stone came out with its controversial list of the top 200 singers. There's been enough commentary to fill an entire songbook. Celine Dion was notably omitted, and it has many asking, what makes a singer truly great? Well, Jason Rockman is with Chom 97.7 and joins us now to discuss. Happy New Year, Jason. Happy New Year to you, too. So what kind of criteria usually goes into lists like this one? You know, it's funny because um, when you look at a list like this uh, and you figure Rolling Stone's been the authority on, on rock and roll music and popular music for so many years, uh, there would be, a, you know, a, a wide palette to, to, to paint from. Um, and, and, I, and, and this list is very, very uh, eclectic and it's very extensive and it's very well-rounded, if you will. Um, when I look at that list, I think the criteria has to do with impact, has to do with vocal prowess. I think it has to do with longevity. Um, there, there are a lot of things on there that that obviously came into play, but um, there's certain people that were left off that list that I think it's just it's a crime because the, the, you know popular music has been affected by uh, so many people, and um, when you do these lists, it's dangerous because you are definitely going to ruffle some feathers. And 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 I think um, one of the reasons we're probably talking. Is, uh, is a couple of the names that were left off of this list that are, are kind of hard to hard, hard to just kind of pass over and not say anything about. So who do you think should have been included that wasn't? Well, the one that's been making, you know, headlines everywhere is Celine Dion. I mean, the idea of Celine Dion, one of the greatest singers in the world, um, and I'm not just biased because I'm from Montreal, but she <laughs> is one of the greatest living singers in the world. The fact that Celine Dion is not on a top 200 vocalist of all time list is absolutely preposterous. I mean, she should be in the top 10 or even in the top 20, but to not be on a list of 200, I mean, throw her on at 199 if you don't like her, but she's got to be a part of that list. So I have a sneaking suspicion that she might have just been left off because someone might have just made an honest mistake and forgotten because I can't see how she's not on this list. Usually we're already working within constraints in these lists. So we're talking generally Western music from the 20th and 21st century, but there's a lot of different genres here from pop to soul to Afro beats. Can you compare one singer to another when they might have totally different styles or even technologies? You know, keep in mind Billie Holiday, who's at number four, started recording in the 1930s. I mean, it's hard, you know, and, and, you know, you look at somebody like Billie Eilish, who's a, a relatively new singer. She's on that list, which I think is great because I think she's she is, um, you know, starting to make a huge impact. I mean, just here in Montreal, she's headlining Oceaga one of the one of the nights. Um, but she's still a relatively young singer. And to omit some people like Madonna, I mean, no offense to Billie Eilish, but there probably would be no Billie Eilish if there wasn't a Madonna. I mean, Madonna paved the way for so many pop singers. So, um Again, it's it's just, I think, leaving certain people off, um, it, it's hard when you make a list of, of anything. You're, you're going you're gonna to forget things. I mean, look at the Academy Awards. They're notorious for leaving someone off when they do their in-memoriam list every year. They always forget somebody. And it's just one of these things that's almost impossible to get right and to please everyone. So obviously, you know, being an amazing singer, it's about more than just hitting the right notes. Otherwise, we might have a whole oh, yeah, raft of yeah. opera singers on this list. How do you define greatness and what to you makes a great singer that should be noticed by Rolling Stone? I, I mean, I think a great singer has to have obviously great chops. They have to be vocally a great singer or they have to have something that's impacted uh, or a song that's impacted. You know, a guy like Bob Dylan's on the list. Bob Dylan, by any stretch, is not a great singer, but he's a memorable singer and he's some stuff that is going to be around forever. I mean, some of the some of the stuff that that, that that's come out of Bob Dylan's mouth is is going to be forever quoted, forever uh, emulated. Um, he started a whole genre of of music, practically. I mean, you know, pop music uh, and, and folk music was you know largely started through Dylan. So I think you know he might not be technically as sound as say a Jennifer Hudson who was left off the list, but his impact will be felt forever. So I think a lot of the people that are on this list are people that have made uh, you know a big impact on popular music. You know, Eddie Vedder. I'm just talking about 90 singers, Eddie Vedder, uh, Chris Cornell, both of them are on there. Uh, Morrissey was on there. Morrissey made, you know, Robert Smith from The Cure. They both made huge impacts in uh, in the 80s and then, you know, the first two I mentioned in the 90s. So I think it has to do with great songs, it has to be do with uh, having a great memorable voice uh, and and, you know, having a lasting impact. 
All right, Jason, well, we know it's flawed because neither you or I made the list either. So we, <laughs> thank you for taking the time today. We are out of time, but I appreciate your insights. Uh, Jason Rockman from Show 97.7, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.